morning all of you. I'm Srinivasan, Senior Faculty for Mathematics for IIT JE. Today I'm going to discuss circles concept for IIT JE. Let us start. <coughs> Actually, what is circle? What is a circle? First I'm going to discuss the definition of circle. What is circle? What is circle? First, uh, I discuss with uh, diagram. Then after, I give you the definition. Okay. These are set of points. These are all set of points. Set of points. And this is a fixed point. This is a fixed point. This is a fixed point. Let us suppose it is C. And if you observe, set of all these points maintaining a constant distance from the fixed point. All the points, all the points maintains constant distance from this fixed point. That uh, distance, let us suppose, R, R, R. Right? This is a circle. The set of points which are at a constant distance from a fixed point is called a circle. Is it clear? The set of points which are at a constant distance from a fixed point is called a circle. Right? <clears throat> the set of points the set of points which are at a constant distance the set of points which are at a constant distance at a constant distance at a constant distance let us suppose r it must be positive number distance from a fixed point from a fixed point is called is called a circle is it clear according to diagram it is uh, very clear to understand right the set of points which are at a constant distance from a fixed point is called a circle is it clear and here the constant distance jo hai here the constant distance here the constant distance is called is called radius of circle and radius of circle and fixed point is called fixed point is called fixed point is called what center of the circle of the circle is it clear all of you what is the definition of a circle? The set of points which are at a constant distance from a fixed point is called a circle. Here, the constant distance is called radius and fixed point is called the center of the circle. Is that clear? Now, I am going to derive the equation for circle. Right? <clears throat> First concept. What it is? The equation of a circle. Now I am going to deriving a equation for circle. The equation of circle with center h comma k with center h comma k and radius radius small r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. This equation I am going to derive now. Right? 
This is the circle equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square whose center is h comma k given and radius is given as r right now I am going to prove this right when I prove this you will be confident for solving the questions on different models okay that's why I am doing this now observe what is given according to given data given that center of circle provided right center of circle provided that is h comma k let us suppose it is c and the radius is given as what radius is given as r now take a diagram circle diagram right this is the center c of h comma k now I am choosing a point on the circumference of the circle P of X comma Y be a point on the circle, right? Now, this distance is how much? The distance from center of the circle to point on the circumference of the circle is called radius, right? From the figure we have from the figure we have what we have CP distance is nothing but radius. CP distance is nothing but radius. By squaring on both sides, CP square equals to R square. It can be simplified by using distance formula. C point is C point coordinates are H comma K. P point coordinates are X comma Y. CP square means X minus H whole square plus Y minus K whole square equals to r square as it is just i have used the distance between two points formula right x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square this is called the equation of the circle in central form this is the equation of the circle in central form central form is not, non, nothing but what central form is nothing but what center of the circle provided with radius as r okay <clears throat> so this is the circle equation okay now i am going to discuss one example based on this concept okay is it clear all of you is this clear circle definition given and i derived the equation for a circle now i am going to discuss example for finding equation of a circle right okay Now observe carefully. Question number one. Find the equation of a circle. Find the equation of a circle. Find the equation of a circle. Equation of circle. With center. With center. 3 comma minus 4 and radius 5 so now what is given easily you can confirm it right given that given center what it is h comma k assuming h comma k is given 3 comma minus 4 and the radius is given as 5 and what is the required equation of circle? The required equation of circle is the required equation of circle is what it is? x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Now h comma k already provided as 3 comma minus 4 p plus x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 4 minus of minus plus 4 whole square equals to 5 square what is what is simplification x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 8y plus 16 equals to 25 what it remains first write all second degree terms x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8y added constants it will become 
25 equals to 25. Both 25s gets cancelled. It remains x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8y equals to 0. How simple it is? Very ordinary, you know? Okay. When center of the circle and radius of the circle provided, simply by using x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square formula, you can capture the equation of the circle. Is it clear? If here uh, I wanted to tell you one note, what is that? Suppose center of the circle is center of the circle h comma k is 0 comma 0. Then this equation, then this equation is going to become h value replaced by 0, k value replaced by 0. x square, here remaining what? x square plus y square equals to r square x square plus y square equals to r square this is standard equation of circle standard equation of circle standard equation of circle is it clear now suppose not two these are j points okay h comma k is 0 comma 0 it is origin and radius also 0 what happens these three values i am going to replace here h 0 k 0 r 0 it remains x square plus y square equals to 0 it is called point circle what it is point circle when radius is becoming 0 it is called point circle. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Shall let me go with another concept. Okay. <clears throat> Next I am going to discuss general equation of a circle. How it will be? Central form of circle what? X minus H whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square it is that you know well now what i wanted to discuss with you now general form of circle general general form of a circle already we know that what is equation of circle what is the equation of circle with center h comma k and radius r? With center h comma k and radius r. What is the equation of circle? x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Now, what is general form? See, second concept it is. <clears throat> the equation, the equation what it is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 represents 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 a circle with center with center minus g comma minus f and radius is radius is root over g square plus f square minus c that's it okay what he is saying this equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 represents a circle with center minus g comma minus f and radius is root over g square plus f square minus c sir how we can believe it represents a circle already we know that a circle equation with center h comma k is with, with center h comma k and radius r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square now observe i am proving this this equation is going to represent a circle given equation is given equation is i am not telling this is a circle right given equation is 
x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0, right? How we can confirm which represent a circle equation? I am going to reduce this equation into x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square form. If it is reducible into x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square, it will be clear that the equation represents a circle with given center and radius. Is that clear? Okay, tell what I am doing here. The terms containing x I'm writing x square plus 2gx and next I'm writing the terms containing y the terms containing y y square plus 2fy plus c I'm writing equals to minus c now I'm going to express this expression as a perfect square term this also I'm going to express as a perfect square term how it will be Chalo. Here already x square plus 2gx is there. What I require to write a perfect square term, g square I required. Add it. Okay, next. y square plus 2fy is there. What do you require for writing a perfect square term? f square required. Now, added g square f square for LHS part and adding g square f square for RHS for part for balancing the expression. Now you can write this expression as x plus g whole square plus y plus f whole square equals to g square plus f square minus c. Now observe carefully. I am writing this x minus of minus g whole square chalega plus y minus of minus f whole square. Is it okay? And this also I am writing root over g square plus f square minus c whole square. Is it possible? Right? Possible, no? Square root gets cancelled. Again, you remains g square plus f square minus c only. Now, compare this equation with is this in the form of x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Comparing this equation with x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Now this is h right and this is the value of k and this total inside expression r. So center of this circle is h comma k is minus g comma minus f and radius is g square plus f square minus c. Now it is confirmed that this is the equation x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 25 plus c equals to 0 represents a circle with center minus g comma minus f. Is it clear? We can continue the next lecture tomorrow. Bye. Happy day.